everyone. Wherever you are in the world, thank you for joining with us again. Luke and I really appreciate you. We appreciate all the comments, the encouragements, the giving. Whatever you share with us um, is important to us. And we just want to thank you. And we just hope and pray that what God shares with us blesses you as it blesses us. So today I've just got two short words that God has put on my heart recently. And I want you to um, know that there is, God has a memorial of you in heaven. Now a memorial is a, a written record. It, it can be a book or a statement, or it can be in stone or glass. It can be a monument or a statue. But there is a memorial in heaven with your name on it. And I don't know if you know that. I don't know if uh, you've ever heard of this. I had never re realized that there was a memorial until uh, de about three decades ago when I was on the mission field. We were coming away from the mission field. We'd done our time there and I became very ill to the point that I nearly died. And I was in a hospital in Asia and I, I was looking back on the, the last two years of, of the missionary work and feeling such a failure. I felt I had failed God. I felt like I had not accomplished what I, I set out to accomplish. And, and I got into a state of anxiety and, and worry over the situation there because obviously we were in a, at the time in a very uh, dangerous place. And I was worrying for my children, they were with us and all sorts of things to the point it made me ill. And here I was laying in a hospital bed feeling the regret of all this failure and and I heard God say and I saw this vision so clear this memorial and he said there's a more memorial set up for you in heaven because I am not recording uh, this memorial because you were successful I'm recording this memorial because you were obedient and you went when I said go and you see so many times we feel remorse because we feel we could have done more, we could have done this or that. But God is saying your obedience and your prayers and your giving are all recorded. Cornelius was a Roman centurion. He was a God-fearing man in, in the uh, New Testament and around the time of the apostles. And it's an angel of God came to him and said, Cornelius, the memorial in heaven has come before God and he's seen this memorial offering of your prayers and your gifts so it was all recorded and it came before God and he said and God sent me to you and so I want you to know when we give when we pray it's recorded and there's a memorial for us in heaven you you might feel today I haven't done a lot or I haven't given much I haven't prayed much but still, it's recorded and there is a memorial for you. You know, God, just sometimes we, we set out with good, good you know, expectations and hopes and things don't always go the way that we hoped or planned in God. But that doesn't mean that God despises our, our, our um, going and our obedience at that time. It's still worth a lot in God's eyes. So I heard... God say that three decades ago. I've never heard God bring that up again until this week. And he said to me, he gave me this word from Ezekiel. And it was Ezekiel 22. And it said, God said, I looked for someone who would build up the wall and stand in the gap on behalf of the land so I wouldn't have to destroy it. But I found no one. God's looking. He said, Pauline, there are spiritual, if you could see into the spiritual world, you would see gaps in the wall, protective walls around people, cities, nations. And he said, if you could see in the spiritual world, you would see where there's been a breach, a breaking down in the wall, where the enemy is allowed to, to get through and penetrate and then come in and take advantage of either those people or that situation. And he said, I want, I'm looking for those who will stand in the gap in this day for, for those around us, this, this day for the nations, the cities and, and our families and our friends that have got a breach in the wall, who are going through things. I've got a family member, a, a 
texted me this morning. Her whole family's down with COVID, really ill. They need somebody. They are not uh, God-fearing people. Uh, they don't go to church or anything, but they are wanting prayer. They're wanting me to stand in the gap for them, and God is wanting that as well. So I'm just um, sharing with you that God said to me, I'm looking for someone today to stand in the gap. And I want you to know, however weak you feel, however insignificant you feel, your prayers are still valuable. They're still, they will still move mountains and they will go on that memorial in heaven. I was left with this thought, what your prayers, your giving makes a difference. It makes a difference in this world and it will make a difference for you in the next world. And I just want, what will be on your memorial? your memorial stone in heaven. And it's not a, a gravestone, it's, it's, a, it's a, a memorial that goes on the wall, something that's in heaven that celebrates you and every prayer that you ever prayed for someone, every gift that you ever gave, every sacrifice you ever made will be on that. And so I would just want to encourage you today, nothing's wasted with God, everything you give, everything you give, is, is significant and important. So bless you, bless all of you who pray for us, bless all of you who give, bless you abundantly. And I just pray that today we can all together stand in the gap for this world, for this whole world, and together see God celebrated on the throne and victorious in our lives. Amen. <laughs>